And we are at Tampa Airport headed to Seattle today for our Alaskan cruise. Now we are coming on to Amazon Go. The uh, Pike's Place clam chowder has really high reviews. But we are at the Space Needle. So they have a lot of the historical stuff that she's just blowing past. You're gonna have a uh, phobia or something. No, I held my breath. You held your breath. <laughs> it's pretty solid, hon, it's safe. Why are you recording me? I'm recording you. One more, one more. Inspirational, isn't it, hon? Yeah, so Seattle has a monorail uh, going from uh, one downtown area all the way up to the Space Needle area where all the museums are at. Um, and we've been told like it's one of the few real working monorails, kind of yeah, like Disney. based off of Walt Disney and what they had in Disney World. We got like, as Disney aficionados, <laughs> fanatics, we had to take other ones. Yeah. Now we're on the monorail, we're going to check this thing out and go over to the Space Needle. this really cool looking robot. Look at that. A lot of detail added. Made out of, looks like traffic lights? For legs? That's cool. Oh, it's Monorail Man. Huh. So we are at the Space Needle. I'm at the base floor outside and look how tall it is. All the way up there. I'm not sure we're gonna go in there though. I've been told that it's not really worth it. It's just like $40 to get in. And you have to wait in this long line until you get the elevators to go back up. We're not sure yet. We're not sure what we're gonna do. So she decided to change her mind and go on the Space Needle. Miss Spontaneous. Last because there's no line. No line. After she told me she was scared of heights I am. and didn't want to do this, so suddenly now we're doing it. It's gonna be interesting. So they have a lot of the historical stuff that she's just blowing past through, like as if it were graffiti art. The needle height measured six thousand feet. Six thousand something, folks. Six hundred. History. By Sherry Marks. <laughs> So they have little miniature models of the Space Needle. Right there. Let's go. Cool. This is probably why they have the monorail. This is part of the World's Fair. Yeah. It's kind of like puts Disney kind of. Fifties, 1960s, and if you are expecting to come here, expect to deal with lines on the way up until you get to the elevators. Yeah, we actually hit this at the perfect time. Yeah, we uh, got here in the middle of a business day. At 1.30. Around 1.30 and we managed to almost walk right on. Ooh, look at that, the top of a... Lego version of the Space Needle. That's cool. So as we wait for the elevator, we have a aerial view of the gift store. It's pretty big. There's other sections too that I'm not capturing, but we have a lot. We'll see how she handles it. 
Remember to breathe. Welcome aboard the elevator. We're going to be traveling up at 10 miles an hour for approximately 41 seconds up to the observation deck, where you'll be up at a height of 520 feet out of the space middle's total height of 605 feet. That's 144 meters or 60 square And here we are outside. The space needle. Very pretty. Wow. What a view. Look, we were right over there. By that cruise ship. That was Sherry handling it. Ah, she's fine. Are oh, you going to have a. You know, you're gonna have a uh, phobia or something. No, I held my breath. You held your breath. <laughs> wow, look at the view. This is, this is nice. I think it's worth the money. What do you think? You think it's okay? Yeah, I want to go over this way and see the whole downtown. Look at that, it's so beautiful. There's the cruise Oh my god, I pointed that out. Folks, oh my god, that's evidence you don't listen to me. Evidence. Mm -hmm. That isn't. Yeah, there is a Norwegian. Yeah, I'll take my binoculars out in the circle. Very beautiful. Yeah. You really get a sense of how big the downtown Seattle is. You get a free picture. Yeah. Very beautiful and peaceful up here. Oh yeah, they have a wall of photos. This is the view from the opposite end of the Space Needle where we entered. Beautiful view. Of what I'm guessing is the lake. Is that a lake? Huh? I don't know. Man, I guess. We, we just don't know our don't, geography. Well, we're not from here. How are we gonna know? Unless there's a football field down there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I don't know if you can tell, but uh, that's the top of the Museum of Pop Culture. And uh, another museum. And the surrounding other areas, buildings. I took video. What the? <laughs> I meant to take a photo. Oh well, I might as well talk about what I'm recording. Though I didn't realize I was recording video. Um, again, more view of the the lake slash bay slash peninsula slash, slash you know whatever body of water we're looking at. So we're just making our way around the Space Needle, and we're back to the port where we saw the Norwegian Ooh, ship. Train. Oh, there's a little train. Oh, look, old two two train. That's how cool. There it is. And that ship is the Norwegian Sun. Yeah, we did find out that it's the Norwegian Sun. Look at her, look at her. She's freaking out over the rotating. Get on it, I'll video you. See right here if you can get tell. You get on the ship. Oh, I can't cuss on that. Get on the ship. You can cuss, you just did. You're on the rotating platform already. Oh. Look, so we're in the glass door. Yeah, glass floor, I mean. It's pretty solid, huh? It's safe. Why are you recording me? I'm recording you. <laughs> Look, she keeps going. He's on the rotating floor. Look at this. The floor moves above the space needle. How crazy is that? I just... All right. So it's pretty solid, guys. It's safe. Don't, don't worry about it. It's pretty cool because if you can't tell, it, the, the whole platform is rotating. You see right there, you look at the carpet. One is moving, one is going the other, other direction. And it's rotating the whole section here. I didn't know this that Gary existed. <laughs> it's safe, hon. It's safe. Come on, come on. It's so solid that you can't... You can't tell. Look at the major. Look at the big gearbox. Big giant gear. That is so cool. Okay. Right, just one more foot. One more. One more. 
Come on. Look, that guy just jumped up and down. It just thing is, it's solid. It's it's like steel. Look at this rotating floor above the space needle. Look at that. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. no. Uh -uh, I'm good. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. It's like steel. No. Come on. No? Here's some of the merch. At the Space Needle. And uh, look at that. A little sign there about the World's Fair in 1962. These uh, retro futuristic gadgets and robots and props they have. It's really cool. Here's the bottom of that same Lego replica of the Space Needle. Look at these beautiful, oh, I don't know if I show up because of the sun, but these giant beautiful glass flowers. Alright, so we decided to walk to it, or at least I convinced her to walk to it. Look. Big giant red tubes. And then, it's overlooking this nice little grass area, little, little park. I think we're here just chilling. Look at that. Inspirational, isn't it, hun? Yeah, but... So, <laughs> let's go take the monorail and go meet our friends. All right. And here's another view of the Space Needle. Well, this time a little far away. In and also get the right there. We were up there. That's where Sherry freaked out. And there she goes. She's over.